Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about if there's any, any hope for the Lions' third round draft pick, Will Harris, for the 2021 season. Let's get started and welcome to the den. Alright, so first off, can I, I just want to say that this was probably the hardest video I have ever, ever made. <laughs> this, this one took a lot of hard work to find film, because... There is no, and I repeat, no Will Harris highlights. I want to show you something. Will Harris highlights. He has just like none. He had one against the Houston Texans in 2019, but it was preseason. Like, oh my word. Like, I only got his college tape, which I do love his college tape, which I'll talk about later, but... Please drop a like on this one, guys. <laughs> this was definitely my hardest line in the video. Alright, so let's get it started now instead of be complaining. So first off, um, Will Harris had a fairly disappointing uh, career so far. Only time he got 78 tackles in two seasons, and one sack, and no turnovers, and only four pass defense in two seasons. And just not producing well. So... When I first looked at him, I'm like, so what's the hope for Will Harris? What, what, is there any games that he has played well in? What's his stats? You know? So then I went to Pro Football Reference. I looked at his advanced stats. Well, he had a pretty good completion percentage in 2019 that the base stats don't show. He had a 56.5% completion percentage, but he did allow three touchdowns. But in 2020, but the, what, I wanted to know there's also a difference that you kind of improved on. So in 2019, his completion percentage was lower than 2020, but his yardage improved. His yards per throw improved. His yards of target improved. He allowed one less touchdown. Almost all his stats improved, really, other than sack and completion percentage. Even his missed tackle percentage went down, honestly, almost nearly dramatically. So he's at, he at least improved. A lot in 2020 um and the big thing is a bit of the stat is not that isn't very telling is it it took a while for will harris to actually allow a touchdown as a strong safety um i believe it was had to be way till like mid or late season i i i actually closely followed will harris's last season but i i can't pull up the stats for game by game for touchdowns but he he didn't allow touchdowns for a very long time so there is promise there for will harris but the issue is this man just does not produce in a normal game-by-game -game stat. One, tackle, one, tackle, one, tackle, two, 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 three, one, four, one, three, four, five, five. He really had, like, no producing games. And he had, like, a handful of good plays. Um, 2019, he did show some promising plays, though. Such as his sack against Aaron Rodgers. And he even had a pass defense. He had, he had, a couple, he had some good pass defense. In here, I couldn't find the tape for the Washington or Chicago one, but nonetheless, it was there. But in terms of the statistics, I was kind of like, okay, so Will Harris has undeniably struggled. Are there any safeties who've kind of had a similar career start off to Will? Okay, top safety Will Harris. He really did not do much at all his first two seasons, and even the first three for that matter. Now, granted, I'm only going to count. I'm going to count 2016, 2017 because he did not play a full season in his rookie year. But he didn't do much. 41 to 18. He didn't even achieve a pick his first three years. And I mean, granted, the difference is uh, he was. I don't even think he was drafted. I think he was an undrafted free agent. But he didn't produce that much. So how about Trey Boston? Trey Boston was selected in the fourth round. He didn't do much his first two years. I mean, at least he tallied up a pick, but his tackle numbers were kind of dreadful. He didn't achieve a single sack. He only had three passes defense. He had zero in 2015, which he played a full season in. It, it's interesting. Because Boston then also played extremely well later in his career. He got he went to 53 tackles, two picks, five picks, 79 tackles, three picks, 79 tackles, three picks, 68. 95. So he did improve after that. So there, there's definitely hope for, like, that maybe there's, it's not like, I guess, 
impossible that just since he's been bad the last two years. And I also have to say a large part of that is also a bit on Matt Patricia. Glover Quinn regressed, regressed under Matt Patricia. Um, Tracy Walker had a horrible regression season in 2020 under Matt Patricia, despite being amazing in 2019. Um, it's just something that, that the ability of Patricia is, of making people just not do well <laughs> in Detroit was kind of his, kind of his thing. People couldn't say consistently good. Jamie Collins was the only, was the only, being his, was the only player who was consistent last year, other than Romeo Cora. Romeo Cora couldn't be consistent. His first season with Patricia, he did pretty good 7.5 sacks, but then he went down to 1.5 the next season, then he went to 10. Um, Jelani Tavai had that great rookie season, as I stated earlier, and then he just was kind of awful in 2020. Darius Slay regressed mightily under Matt Patricia. So, I guess these are kind of like the excuses. And here are some good plays that you have. So, at 103, if you go to the NFL's highlight page for Packers vs. Lions Week 17 highlights, here's a good play that I won't show. Okay, so here's Will Heathers right here. If you move here, shoop, speed bullet right through. He gets that sack right on Aaron Rodgers. That was a good example of a, being a good box safety that he could be. He can move up that linebacker position. He has resilience. I think he's best as a box safety slash strong safety. Um, and if we go to 715. I wanted. Oh, no. I'm going to have an ad, guys. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, this is really just going to ruin everything. Okay, I'm just going to go back 10, 12 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. So, I apologize for the ad. Don't play this game. It's not It's not a good game. <laughs> uh, okay, 7, 14. Aaron Rodgers snaps. He looks, he throws. Boom. Right there, Robert Tanayan. Robert Tanayan in 2019. Do we... I, I want to... Do you guys know that Robert Tanayan had an amazing year? Robert Tanayan. This guy was fantastic for the Lions. This last season. Not the Lions, the Packers last season. He had 11 touchdowns and 11 yards a catch. Now, granted, he also didn't do too much that same year in 2019, but it's like... We kind of know now that Tanayan's a pretty good player of Rodgers. Now, here's another play that he shows a lot of promise in. Kirk Cousins, he's there. He throws. Boom. Will Harris shows anticipation. And that's Justin Jefferson. That's 2020. That's the flexion he has on Jefferson. That I honestly don't think should go unnoticed. Uh, hopefully, they should. I believe they show a second replay at the. Play in slow motion. Nope, they don't. But basically, it was a good play. He kept himself up there, and he covered the best rookie receiver last season. They did a good job. So, and then if we go to his college highlights, Will Harris highlights. So we go there. We go to his, the NFL channels. The Lions channel. We've got a lot to link today. Should we go to 017? Watch Will Harris here. Moves. Pew, strips it right from Dorsett. Great aggressiveness. Great intimidation. He showed great read on the quarterback there. On a solid player in Greg Dorsett. And then 0 54. Watch this hit. Pew, right in the guy. Knocks it right out. Stopping a touchdown. And even keeping him on the ground. L look at that. that that's. That's a hard-hitting kneecap biter mentality that he showed there. Even on this play right here, boom, knocks him straight to the ground. Um, if we go to Lamana highlights, thank you. Um, if we go to one, if we go to one thirty-five. Look at this play. Boom. Tracks the player and knocks him out. Just a little bit of replay I want to show here. Boom. Knocks him right there. Good pursuit. Good hit. Good play to show there. It's why I'm so amazed that, he's, that, that he just hasn't been that good in the NFL. 
And if we go to Um, it's just something that amazes me is the guy is a good player. He has shown that in his calendar sheet that he just puts well. He has nice size. The guy is six foot one, two hundred and seven pounds. He can do it. Even in, when he was in college, he had some fantastic games. I mean, like, his game against Wake Forest was amazing. Eight tackles and a pick. Um, his game against Central Michigan, his game against Northern Illinois. His game against Syracuse. The guy had good games, even against top competition such as Iowa, where he got nine tackles. I believe that this guy can be good. Um, now, he's definitely... The cons is... I had to look a lot and a lot for those positive plays. That took a long time for me to find those, not counting his college tape that, that came from thankfully Lamanna highlights. It took a lot. Like I literally had to go through every single game. I had to go to the play by plays and find a small amount. He's shown potential and good ability. And I think a Good sign of that is the fact that the Lions believe in Will Harris by not signing a big time safety or bringing in a, another like bigger name safety um, at all in the draft or free agency other than Dean Marlowe. And Dean Marlowe is not a big time safety. So, yes, there is definitely hope, but he's a very big, in my opinion, the most likely to still flop next season. That's why I'm super concerned about the safety group. But I hope I'm wrong. And go Lions and one pride. See you guys later.